there are always people talking about how Yellowstone is overdue for an eruption and how the soon to come eruption will be completely road ending. But here's the thing, volcanoes don't work like that. Volcanoes aren't on a timer system. They're not library books that can become overdue. So where did this whole Yellowstone eruption scare come from? It's actually really stupid. Years ago, some people looked at the historical data of Yellowstone's largest explosions. These people saw that the only major Yellowstone explosions we know of occurred 2.08 million years ago, 1.3 million years ago, and 0.631 million years ago. With these three numbers, they found that the Yellowstone has a major eruption an average of once every 725,000 years. There are numerous problems with that assumption. The first being that it's an incredibly small data set. Three eruptions isn't anywhere near enough to get an accurate understanding of how often something occurs, because you really only have two ranges of time. The amount of time between the first and the second eruption, and the amount of time between the second and the third eruption. It's an average of two numbers, which is completely worthless. I get that not everyone can understand how volcanoes work. It's fine, not everybody can be a geologist. But we should all at least understand how numbers work. If we did assume that volcanoes went off like clockwork, that they go off in a consistent and predictable intervals of 725,000 years, and that the last eruption was 631,000 years ago, that still leaves nearly 100,000 years until the next Yellowstone eruption. We're not overdue at all. If anything, we're underdue for an eruption. 100,000 years is a really long time. 90,000 years ago, we were only just beginning to learn how to catch fish. To put this into perspective, the Egyptian empire only ended 2,000 years ago, and agriculture wasn't even a practice until around 10,000 years ago. We're currently living in the 21st century. If volcanoes were predictable, which they're not, Yellowstone won't blow its top until the 961st century. Okay, so we've gone over why the 725 year average is unreliable, as well as why we won't experience Yellowstone blowing the world apart, even if it were a reliable average. Let's go over how volcanoes work and further debunk the absurdity of the overdue Yellowstone eruption claim. In the most simple terms, volcanoes erupt when they have an overaccumulation of magma. There's too much magma inside the volcano, and the pressure forces them out. Easy first grader friendly explanation of volcanoes. But the thing is, magma doesn't accumulate at a consistent linear rate. Volcanoes generally don't get the same amount of magma built up year after year. This is why geologists have to rely on sophisticated measuring equipment to forecast volcanic eruptions instead of simply pulling out a calendar and subtracting the years. And when buildup does force an eruption, they're typically not the giant explosions that shatter the world. Small lava flows akin to volcanic leakage are much more common and much less destructive than the dramatic eruption of Mount Vesuvius in 79 AD. In fact, Yellowstone just had one of these small lava flows 70,000 years ago to lessen the pressure. These lava flows are dangerous enough to harm the surrounding land, but nobody outside of the immediate area will witness its effects. If a major volcanic eruption were to occur though, what kind of effect might we expect? Well, I refer you to the short 2 minute long video I did on the after effects of the explosion of Mount Tambora in 1815, as well as the impact it had on global climates. Otherwise, you can click this video to watch whatever YouTube things you'd be most interested in watching.